Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And today I thought I'd try some kind of really subtle, soft colors with the Shelly Art Technique or Shelly Art Technique. Normally everyone does really bold, vivid, bright colors, and I'm kind of going with like an interior design palette. <laughs> so I mix like a blue violet with some gray to kind of come up with a really kind of fun, dulled lavender. And then I have some um, Azo Gold that I, Quinoctrid on Azo Gold that I mix with some burnt sienna. I have some ultramarine blue that I mix with some gray to get kind of a blue gray. They're maybe a little thick, I'm not sure. Then I have some Naples yellow mixed with iridescent gold. And then I have some Titan pale mixed with, I don't know, um, green gold mixed with also some olive green. So I'm just kind of playing around with colors just to come up with like an interior design because I'm thinking that might make kind of a fun soothing clock. Just something soothing, less exciting. But I am going to do a black cell activator on it. So that's my plan. And I guess I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so let's just see. I'm not even sure what color like of these I want maybe to blanket it with the two kind of bluey lavender colors and put these in between. Let's do that. So I think I'll start with the really pale color even though it's going to get even more pale next to the white, and we'll end with this. And so maybe I'll do like so. Let's think about it. Lavender gray with yellow, green, and then the burnt sienna and the kind of French blue on the top. Let's do that. Um, you never know. And this could be, this could just look terrible. I have no idea. So I'm going to pour down my pillow paint, which is the Sherwin-Williams um, Color to Go Sample Court. It looks like there's a little glump in there, so I want to try and fish that out right now. I didn't even get this that long ago, but there was a glump. Get your glumps out before you put your, put your paint down. All right. I might have a little much pillow paint there. But, and these might be a little thick, so. The colors themselves are kind of pretty. They're just uh, not vivid, you know, so. Hopefully it comes out okay. Just for a nice little subtle, soothing look. my kind of gray lavender yellow this mad scientist they're all mixed up colors none straight out of a tube I was inspired by a Sherwin Williams color palette <laughs> like an interior design color palette so why not? Okay. And I think a lot of those middle colors are going to get kind of lost anyways. Because um, they often do. And you get your top color and your bottom color is the most predominant. Oh my gosh. I think these are too thick. I don't even know if they're going to spread. So I think I'll definitely need to use... Um, a tool to blow this and I have too much pillow. It looks like I'm just off to a bad start here, guys. I have to spin it, spin it, spin it like crazy. Mm, let's do one more. Just because. Okay. Hmm. 
hear the ice cream man coming around our neighborhood. I'm gonna kinda go in here. Well, that didn't really give me any more. I'll just leave it be. Sometimes as you're spinning, you'll get, or tilting, you'll get those to open up in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of let that come back to, I got a lot of the green and, oh, wow. I didn't get much of that bottom, bottom, really light lavender. But so far, those are pretty soothing, interesting colors. I don't think it's moving yet because I really blew that center. And you want to make sure that center's moving. So when you stretch it out, it all moves out. Oh my gosh, I have so much pillow paint. Too, too much. Okay. It's moving now, so let's uh, give this a good spin. It's going to get all over the place because I have so much of it. And I really got to get some of that off, so. Uh, maybe one more. Good spin. Hmm, I'm undecided. So I got some of the yellow and the green. I don't have much of the sepia. I really like the outside that's off the best, I think. But it's kind of fun. Uh, let me see if I can pick this up. It's really, there we go. I think that's kind of interesting and fun to look at. I'll put it on the, the, Turntable, and then I'll bring you in for a couple close ups. There we go. Oh, I think I just got some paint on my mouth. I think it would have been too hard to look at it. Still on the turntable. That's all. All right, let me wipe my hands. I'll bring you down. Let me know what you think about these softer colors with a black cell activator. I don't know, I kind of like it for something different. Oh, I've got a big layer on there, I'm sorry. So, here we go. Here's the Good grief. There we go. So you can see some of that really pale green and pale yellow. I don't know if I'm getting much of that really pale, like that really pale, pale purple lavender from the bottom. A little bit of it's coming up. It almost looks a little gray. Um, and that plays well with that kind of darker blue gray on the top. Lavender gray and blue gray with black. A little bit of the azo with burnt sienna. Not much, but just enough for some color contrast I kind of like. And that really pale yellow and pale green. What do you think? Do you like the pale, soft, subtle colors or the really bright, vivid colors? It's kind of fun. I thought it might make kind of a fun clock. A little more um, subdued um, that might go with a lot of interiors. So... This will be interesting and fun to look at.
Let me know what you think. I think I'm going to try some more inspired color palettes by Sherwin Williams. I don't think this was a bad uh, turnout at all. It's just different. <laughs> all right. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. And until we meet again, have fun painting. Bye.